welcome to the second session of the java programming today we will see the types of operators and the programs based on the different types of operators what are the learning outcomes at the end of the session the students will be able to explain the concepts like java development kit java runtime environment and java virtual machine also the students will be execute the program regarding the types of operators content first we will see the recap of the first session after that we will see jdk jre and jvm and after that we will see the what are the different types of operators the recap of the first session what we have learned in the first session we have seen the object oriented programming what is mean by object oriented programming what are the different types of object oriented programming like abstraction inheritance encapsulation and polymorphism classes are the main parts of object oriented programming in the java programming object data methods variables are the part of classes for example car is the class and the different types of cars are the objects object oriented programming consists of the encapsulation polymorphism and inheritance encapsulation means wrapping to uh, wrapping up together the different types of entities in a single unit inheritance can interchange the different properties from one class to another class a different function like a draw function can consist of a different functions like suppose you want to draw something like triangle rectangle and the circle which will be in the single function like draw the features of java programming there are different types of features of java programming like compilation and interpretation these are the two stages of java programming java programming is a robust and secure type once and run anywhere that is the tag line of a java programming multi threaded language java programming is a multi threaded language that is multitasking we can distribute the java software or the coding very easily now entering into the second section the two ways of java programming here we can see java source code will be the at the top that is our program we have to compile the program always remember the java programming is a two stage programming that is compilation that is java compiler java c is the code there are the two types of applications like applet type and the application type for the applet type we have to use the internet web browser our different types of programs will be the based on the application type so here after web browser the output will be in the form of the applet in the applet view we will get the output in the application type there will be the interpretation and after that we will have the different outputs in the java software java development kit java development kit consists of the different types of files like java c java compiler java interpreter that is java applet viewer that is very main java development kit file java h java p and java doc first we will see the java compiler java compiler or java c is the first stage of to get the output we are having the source code now we we, we want the byte code so java compiler is the intermediate point between the source code and the byte code so we have to convert the source code into the byte code with the help of java compiler whenever we will get the byte code we have to convert it into the output we have to achieve the output with the help of java we can achieve the output java is the java interpreter applet viewer suppose we want to design the web page applet viewer is a java development kit file with the help of which we can design the different types of internet web pages which is not present in the c++ and c programming java h the header file suppose we want to include the header files in the java programming java h is used suppose we want the byte code into the source code yes with the help of compiler we can achieve the source code into the byte code but vice versa suppose we are having the byte code that is class file and now i want the source code means the program java p is the java development kit file with the help of which we can achieve the byte code into the source code suppose i want to create the different html document files yes with the help of java doc file we can create the html document files java runtime environment 
it consists of java virtual machine we will discuss the java virtual machine in the next slide runtime class libraries user interface toolkits the deployment technologies like java plugin and webstart okay runtime class libraries suppose i want to use the variables or maybe the values and suppose i want to calculate something or the mathematical functions there is a library which consists of each and every code each and every variables values alphabets arrays pointers which is present in the the libraries so during the run time means during the output these class library files will be useful abstract window toolkit which is useful for graphical entities which is in the user interface toolkits deployment technologies which is used for applet suppose you want to design the internet web pages java plugin and java web start will be used to create the different applet programs java virtual machine which is similar to the combination of compilation and interpretation first the first step is the source code will be converted into the class file which is also called as the virtual machine which is done with the help of java compiler after that now we are having the virtual machine means the bytecode which will be converted into the machine code that is output with the help of java interpreter means here the virtual machine is used as a intermediate between the source code and the machine code that is output think about this question correlate java development kit java virtual machine and java runtime environment now this is very simple program very basic program always remember the program always will start with the class and the class name test is the class name public static void main string args is the main statement in the any program we have to use this statement suppose i want to print something maybe a statement or the word or letter so system dot out dot print ln is the statement to print something on the screen system dot out dot print ln to the next line in the bracket welcome to the advanced computer programming that will be the statement that will be printed on the screen this is the output now how to execute the program first there will be the compilation and the second one will be the interpretation for the compilation java c space test dot java means we have said this file with the help of test dot java file so java c space file name after that there will be the creation of the class file so test is the class name here test is the class name so java space test with the help of which we can achieve the output what are the different types of operators arithmetical operator relational operator logical operator incremental and decremental operator before going to the references we will see the different programs like arithmetical relational logical and incremental and decremental operator this is the program for the relational operator these are the values in the program that is 50 and 51 for the and 49 for the variables a b c the different relational operators will be a less than b a less than equals to b c less than b a greater than equals to c here the values will be calculated directly with the help of java programming here do we don't have to calculate manually so system dot out dot print ln a is equal to plus a with the help of plus a the value will be printed here that is a is equal to 50 plus will be for the value similarly b is equal to plus b plus b will provide you the value for the b that is b is equal to 51 here a less than b is equal to this is only the statement in the double inverted comma plus a less than b with the help of plus the the output will be printed automatically R E L O P R that is a class name and the file name is also same. You can have the different file name also. We'll see the output. So Java C that is the Java compilation. R E L O P R dot Java. Sorry, R E L. 
O P R. So Java space. So after that Java C R E L O P R dot Java. There will be the creation of the class file. Now we want the output. Java space the class name R E L O P R. So these are the inputs which are provided in the program, and directly the output will be in the form of true and false. Similarly, suppose we are having the two values that is a is equal to twenty and b is equal to thirty. I want to calculate plus plus a that is incremental operator. Here, whenever we are using the plus plus a that is the before incremental operator, there will be the addition in the this incremental operator. But here. That is b plus plus. Whenever you are using the incremental operator after the variable, after recalling the again the the original variable, there will be the addition. We'll see the output here. So Java C I D O P R dot Java. So Java space I D O P R. So you can see a and b are having the twenty and thirty values. Whenever we are recalling plus plus a, there will be the change in the value by one. But whenever we are recalling the b plus plus, that is the incremental operator after the variable, there will not be change. But whenever we are recalling again the variable b, there will be the change in the value. This is the difference between the using the incremental variable before the variable and after the variable. These are the references. Thank you.